Alrighty, what is up everybody? We are back today with some more Shadowrun Returns. So, we left off trying to get a key card to work inside the Brotherhood's uh, lair because we're looking for Jessica and Lynn. Alrighty, so let's see what we got. In contrast to the noise and energy of the crowd outside, the lobby of the Universal Brotherhood is sedate, tranquil, acquiescent. The low music piped through the room is something from a day spa mixed with a planetarium sky show. Allowing listeners to achieve maximum relaxation while reaching for the stars. Brothers and sisters from every race and every branch of metahumanity mill about with blissful smiles and shining eyes, greeting each other with head nods, palm touches, and murmured blessings. The woman at the front desk offers you a welcoming smile as you enter, her hand automatically moving to her stack of religious literature. Alright. So we're back here, we got our outfit, so I'll try to make a key card work. That's the make one, right? Gotta walk away. We need to gather some intel because we need names, dates, we gotta have like stuff to put in. My diminutive friend. Okay, what's this? Universal Brotherhood Terminal Login, Sister Don Wurz, Seattle Chapter Brothers and Sisters Database, Alpha Sword Brothers and Sisters. Adam Borders. Okay, so now the Adam Borders name is good. Done with alphabetical sorting, administrative functions. Frisbee catcher. All right, done with the computer. Yeah, keep looking around. This brotherhood logo, activate the holodeck. Holodeck animates display a high level blueprint of the facility which labels to touch to zoom into each area. Um, public areas. Holodeck, the entrance, the auditorium. Okay, the area we just came from. To display the storeroom, staff locker, the kitchen with the notion. The kitchen is actually a part of the home area from a security point. Okay, let's look at the home areas. Holodesk seems in to show the four dormitories, the office, and the kitchen area make up the home area. You notice the kitchen has an external door that there is heavy security around the door to the sanctuary area. Dorm A, current residence. I didn't see that fool's name anywhere. Look back again. Huh. So we gotta find the mix and match the information that actually works. Okay, let's look at the inner sanctum. Access denied and it's fa yeah, okay, that makes sense. Alrighty. So we got around here, so let's back to around with this. Oh, Pasha. Okay, Pasha, and she was in. Um, it's like this. Home areas. She in C? B. Yeah, Pasha was in B. Okay. See if we can make this work with a little bit of info now. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Yep, we'll take that. Read the fr okay, it's a waste basket filled with papers. Let's see this. Dear Charles, I've been trying to reach you since you were told that we could not see you. Since you are not allowed to go online away by letters which have done time and We've done time and time again with no response. How can you forget the people that raise and love you, mom and dad? Okay, so they're like censoring people's mail. That's some cult shit. Desk of Monica Schnoff. Dear Brian, I want you to know how happy the Universal Brotherhood has made me. But I am sad that I never get any responses from my letters to you. I would email you. No, we're not allowed to go online. 
You know that I've loved you since the day you were born. Mom and Dad will always give me crap for never being able to pronounce your name when you were a baby, but it's since been an endearing name for me to call you ever since. Aw, love, Sister Monica. Okay, so not too much going on there that I can tell. Okay. There. Okay. Let's try interacting with this. I'm gonna insert a blank key card. She was in B too. Okay, let's see if we can't. If we can't dig up some more information elsewhere. Um, I don't know if we actually need to take one, but we're gonna just to be safe. Brother Christopher. Is this the office door? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Sister Nancy. Can we talk to her? Yeah, we talked to her already. over this way. Over yonder. Tools. Cleaning solvents. Plastic ID card melts in the solvent enough to be recognizable as a UB card, but hide that it did not have anything printed on it. Okay. So maybe we're about to pull a, pull a fast one on some people. Snack foods. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, I think we can do that. But first, I want to find a way to get my team inside. Okay. I don't mind taking these fools on. I just don't want to do it without backup. Oh, wait. Now that we can... See if we can pull a fast one on this lady. Card. Okay. So now we go talk to Christopher. That's Nancy. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna help us. Okay. So. See what we can piece together again. Holodeck. Home areas. Rick Mayer. Or Brian.
Okay, let me go take a look around. One more time. And if not, we might just have to burn the place down. Sister Brenda. Yeah, that's not this chick, is it? Okay. So. That's Brother Mike. It's Father Willie. Just uniforms. Just uniforms. Ah, uh, yeah, want to talk to me now? That's fair. Uh, okay, so we're looking for Sister Brenda. I keep forgetting. There's no. Uh, Okay, that's the one, uh, okay, so his is the one that ends in 221. Ends in 221. The attendance logs. The response logs. No. Computer. Okay, so let's try this again. Just my key card and start data entry. Start that entry. So we gotta find names in here that match up there. Let's go back to this again. Let's 
one's really frying my noodle. Probably not gonna work, but let me just try something. All right, let's try daily eights this time. Okay, let's go. Go. Okay, this worked. Not getting hurt too 
too bad. Okay, we're getting kind of a little fucked up. I think he's gonna summon some shit. That misses. Damn, these guys just get all the actions apparently. Um, so. Sanctum access key card. Let's go. But it still doesn't open this shit. Okay. Okay, game. I see how it is. Let's go. Yeah. All right. We got an achievement. We're in. Infiltrate the inner sanctum. Past the door is a short passage leading to the freight elevator. You hit the down button and the elevator rumbles its descent, past where a basement would be, past where a parking garage would be. The door is open to a very different environment from the one you left. The doors, the gone is the airy, soothing atmosphere of the Brotherhood's public face. The corridor leading from the elevator is utilitarian and sterile, the spa music replaced by echoing nothingness. Somewhere ahead, far below the Universal Brotherhood, is Sam's twin sister. Somewhere ahead, beneath the veneer of, util of un unity and belonging, is Sam's killer. The same woman, Jessica Watts. Got three whole karma. Oh, boy, we got these guys now. Alrighty. Oh boy, just got taken out right off rib. For a chance to blast these ones, not blasting me. Son of a biscuit. What do we get now? Shoot straight. Successfully hit an enemy with a little chance of less than 30%. Alright, I meant to shoot this dude, whatever, we missed anyway. Trying to attack that guy, attack the one that's right in front of you. 
Damn. Ten solid slashes in on him. Crit for 17. Blast this fool. Yeah, that's gotta be enough taken down. Oh, cool swag. We will manage that. Put right on that fool. Right on him. Never hurts to have the loot spread around. No, we are not. Advanced med kit. Um, okay, manage that definitely. All right, now we go fight these guys. Making sure we got our grenades and our health potions. Ow, you son of a bitch. They got a chick held hostage here. Cold shit. Alrighty. What have we here? Holding cell key card. Alright, so who the hell are you? Marie Louise. The young elf woman is clearly shaken from being locked up and seeing her jailer killed in front of her eyes. These people are insane. I've been a prisoner all night and I heard noises. Okay, what kind of noises? First it was chanting. Priests and acolytes have been going down that hole since they locked me up, but then it changed to screaming and something else. Something foul. We gotta get out of here. I see a woman here, human, blonde, early 40s maybe. You mean Jessica? Yeah, she's some here somewhere. She and my aunt, aunt are together. My aunt brought me here. She said the Brotherhood was just what I needed, that I could find a new family here like she did, that I could be a part of something bigger than myself. Then it got weird. You'd expect people to like, like this to be nice, you know? That's what they're all about, but this was different. Then they started bowing to me. That's when they, the chanting started. That's when I got really scared. Okay, time to go. Jessica. Marie Louise, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? No, you're needed here. There's a hungry glint in Jessica's eyes. I'll bet. I won't be your sacrificial lamb, Jessica. My darling girl, you misunderstand. What we offer is eternal life, a chance to be part of something new. Jessica suddenly notices you and her words fall, fail in her throat. You're alive? Well, it isn't eternal life, but it'll do. So you say. But I'm glad you're here. I truly am. You've helped me more than you can know. Further opened my already wide eyes. I thought I understood my feelings towards Sam. I thought I knew why I needed to put him and my old life behind me. But Sam represented so much more. The world is sick, you see. Humanity is sick. And perhaps better than anyone, Sam embodied that sickness. He cared nothing for others, and he barely cared for himself self-destruction. It was Sam's path and it is humanity's path. If we don't make a change, if we don't embrace a new way of thinking, we must put each other first, and this is the basis of my new family. Yeah, you guys are a cult, not a family. I'm not talking about the Brotherhood. They're sheep, servants, and sustenance. Or if they're very lucky, hosts for my new family. My true family. There is a new world coming, Doc, and it is beautiful, ordered, safe, unambiguous. A world where everyone knows their place. Imagine it, a world without chaos, without selfishness, or any other human failings. No one to betray you or hurt you. 
Lady, you're nuts. Visionaries are seldom understood in their own time, but someday you'll all join me in transcendence. But first, I think it's time you met my new family. They're eager to make your acquaintance. Okay. Oh, them big bugs. True form worker, the creature makes a mangled sound of chittering and human agony. Holy crap. Don't be afraid, darling girl. No one will hurt you. You are their queen. She locked us in here, but I can get us out of here. Last night, they were holding me in the next room, the one with the computers. I jacked into one and was hacking their security system when I tripped the alarm and got caught. They threw me in that cell and disabled the jack points, but I can fix it. Okay, you just stay behind us. Look, I went to the best school in the country for matrix engineering. I know what I'm doing. They locked the nodes down when they caught me, but I slipped in some code before they did. So it has to be me that jacks in. Just hold them off and let me fix it. Okay, what about the ice? I write ice as a hobby, okay? Just trust me and keep that thing away from me. How entertaining. I'm glad you weren't killed in the cemetery, Doc. It will be much more fun to watch you die. All right, so we are going to cancel one switch to the sword. Sweet wet work. Kill two targets with a single attack using a melee weapon. And damage. Missed. And damage. These things fucking suck. Um, you. Cast fireball. These things are kind of a fucking unit. Okay. Are they tough bucks. Taking like no damage from any of our attacks. Good thing I missed. Ow, that hurt. Missed. on this thing. Immune. Okay, that's unfortunate. Focus fire these things down, they're too tough, and that one's now immune to our attacks. Oh, oh god. Okay, so what are these things? Give me some exposition. They are the immortal soul made flesh. They are true destiny. Last chance, Jessica, you can stop this. Why would I stop this? I see things so clearly now. My mind was opened here when she called from beyond the veil, and she was rewarded. She has rewarded my service and my faith with great power. This could have been yours as well, Marie-Louise, but you were uh, 
You were to be a host for our queen, but no matter, there is another. one down. These things are doing their thing again. Alright, Jessica's out. <laughs> node and get the hell out of here. Baron Samidi, Mary Louise, I found you. Arkeem, is that you? Call me Samidi, please. We're on an unsecured node. Hang on, I'm already running a decoy operation with Mirror's utility to mask you so the rest of the Brotherhood's grid doesn't swarm you with ice. How did you find me? You leave a very distinctive trail, ML. You need to work on that. Now, where the hell is going on here? There's no time to explain. The next level of the Universal Brotherhood is always talking about. I think they transform into bugs. 
I had heard some rumors on the Shadow Land, but this is worse than I thought. I warned you about these people. You've got to get out of there. Way ahead of you. This node controls the doors. We're free. We just need to get out of here. I hope uh, I'll see you soon. I hope. Tell the leader of the runner team with you to contact Baron Samedi and the Matrix as soon as they gain access. I'll be looking for them. Alrighty, now we're just gonna... able to get everybody out. Okay, next, I want you out. Next, the Decker. And Coyote. And last but not least, me. We are out. Let's go. Another achievement, hanging up my robes. Escape the Universal Brotherhood with all your team members. Let's go. Marie Louise is putting on a tough face, but you can see she's spooked. Thanks for the rescue. I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah, getting out of here sounds like a good idea. She's glassy-eyed, maybe in shock. Good, uh, thanks again. Don't worry about me, I'll see you around. The image that suddenly lights up your comm link is clearly a non-standard transmission. Whoever it is, they're using the Matrix to tight beam their avatar's face instead of their own. You can tell the voice has been modulated to disguise it. Bonsoir, mon ami. You must be careful with those devices. They can be hacked if you're not careful. Who are you and how did you get to this comm link? Forgive me, I am the Baron Samidi. Perhaps you have heard of Samidi? He is a decker of unique gifts. Some have gone as far as to call him a technomancer. We too have, we too, we have common knowledge now and we share a common purpose. Okay, I'm listening. The girl, she is important to Samidi. He is grateful for your timely assistance to her and he finds himself in a position to return the fav favor. Samidi knows the one you are after. He knows and he can help you get to her. But this comm link, it is not a secure connection, is it? No, we need to meet face to face, so to speak, in cyberspace. All right, what's your stake in this? The one you were after poses a threat to many, but that is for later. We must hurry now. Suddenly, the Baron's flowery speech is gone and he's all business. Get to a secure jackpoint. Enter Shadowlands. I will meet you there. Bon voyage. The Baron grins as his image flickers away. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. the Union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. He didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult with giant unkillable bugs. But she is, and if you're going to get to her, you need to find a way around or through those bugs. After a taste of the belong that is the Universal Brotherhood had to offer, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstress's Union feel more like home than ever. Sweet. Find Johnny in the safe house. Hey, okay, what's up? Coyote's va face is pale and her voice is low and shaky. What the hell was that back there, man? Just what the frag was that about? Bugs. Giant fragging bugs. And Sam's sister is their leader? If I didn't see it, there, there's no way I'd believe it. Giant unkillable bugs. 
Uh, she shudders and shakes it off. Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go after her again, you think of me, okay? I'll be around, locked and loaded. Will do. Cody's the homie, so. Cherry bomb. Hey there, Doc. Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down the minute I saw you. Said he's got someone who wants to talk to you. He sounded a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Did he say who it was? Uh, I can't remember. May it sound like royalty or something. You know, someone called the Duke or something like that? The Baron? Maybe, yeah. Gotta go. Got these pe Gotta get these people drunk. Johnny Bartlett. Um, uh, That's just a vendor mercenary organizer. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'm not sure if I can get to it. Alright, I'm always up for getting paid. What's up? Job simple extraction. The people I represent are interested in acquiring the talents of a scientist named Sada. Unfortunately, Mr. Sada is currently engaged with Renraku, which means he is engaged for life. This doesn't sit well with the people I represent. They see it as a subversion of the free market. Oh yeah, so I remember this. So in like a lot of cyberpunk and Shadowrun settings, when they talk about uh, poaching uh, talent from opposing companies, uh, they don't mean just making them a job offer. They literally just kidnap people and are all like, you're working for us now. And you want me to secure Mr. Sada's freedom to work for your people instead. He flashes his pearly whites again. Exactly, but it has to be now. Renraku's shipping shot Sada out of Seattle in the morning for some sort of overseas research project. Tonight, he's being kept at a hidden research facility out here in the Barrens, just a couple of miles from here. I hear they've been bringing in unmarked shipments for weeks now, thinking nobody notices. Place should be lightly guarded, probably rent cops. Get in, grab Sada, get out. In exchange, I'm authorized to permit nine grand in payment. I am not authorized, however, to negotiate. I'm in. All right, I'll send the lab's location to PDA. Hire a team and head there right away. Liberate Sada and deliver him to my employers. So I'll have a car waiting outside the lab when you're done. Once Mr. Sada is on his way, meet back here for payment. Cool. Body. Look familiar. See what you got. What is he selling? Oh, he's the drug dealer. Uh, how much cash do we have? We got a lot of karma. We don't have that much cash. I can spend karma. Take a side job real quick. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. What if we gotta talk to that one dude that's down here to go? Uh, yep. That's what I thought. Okay, he's the only one I can afford to bring with me. That's just gonna be a duo run. Forestville behind, make your way to the Barrens proper, exiting civilization as you know it. With each step, little 
the little order that exists falls away, taken over by anarchy in its purest form. All semblance of government oversight, corporate domination, even, even media influence disappears, leaving an urban feral landscape of bleak desperation. Yet hidden in this wreckage of a suburb, Renraku Computer Systems has hidden some sort of R&D research lab, probably to take advantage of some old tech left after the shy... Shia Waste nuclear power plant meltdown or the crash that decimated the computer industry in 29. You find your way into the lab. The place has definitely seen better days. No security systems are online to greet you, just the ones made of meat. Maybe a scientist can make, uh, maybe you can help a scientist make a life change. Alrighty, we already know what we got. I'm just gonna confirm. I don't really see any reason to play this quiet. You get a new shotgun. This is probably going to hurt a little bit. Let's miss. Oh, you suck. Morons shot up a Renraku research lab. Ever hear of Renraku? This is just a job to me, Merlin. Beat my price and you live. I have a fragging herd of basilisks, you idiot. You're gonna need a lot more guys. Probably not.
you, unfortunately, are now within sword swing range. That just, that really just happened. Huh, it really did. I'll take it. Sada, who are you? Why, why are you doing this? Say goodbye to Renoraku, Sada. How do you know my name? Wait, you're from Az Technology, aren't you? I told them I wasn't interested in working for them. Well, whoever sent me is definitely interested in you. So that's it, you're just going to hand me over to them? Jesus, these people, listen to me. Whoever you are, I know I'm a wage slave, I get it, but I shouldn't be a real slave, should I? All that you're doing is transplanting me from one corp to another so I can be an employee for life. Shouldn't I have something to say about that? Of course you should have something to say about it. You can beat their price. How much are they paying you? Eh, about 15 grand. I can't beat that. I froze all my funds when I got here for security. All I have on me is five grand. Let me go and it's yours. Nah, unfortunately you're coming. We kind of need funds right now, unfortunately. Alrighty. Let's see. I don't need to save for this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Alright, Johnson. whole herd of them. Prezze, find the appropriate. Pleasure doing business. You too, homie. Alright, now let's head downstairs. Probably get some upgrades, maybe even uh, uh, we gotta replace our trauma wagon things. Yeah, it's gonna cost a bit, isn't it? No, I think we can get them for like $750 apiece. You 
just need the... You, to, you can get by on just the basic ones if you can hire a healer for a run with you. Alright, so first up, I'll talk to you, see if we can do something about my cyberware. Take a look at your cyberware. Bone lace and cab arc. Type body. Adds one body. These guys probably got some new equipment too. I'm really only interested in you, sure I'll take a look. Sure I'll take a look. Thunderbolt. Sword. All right, we'll get, uh, let's get the dragon sword actually, since uh, what is it? we really don't use a whole lot of stuff like that. I don't think I actually sold anything. I think I hit B. Yep, I sold that. Money back. Oh, yeah, this lady's little truck kits. Buy a couple of these. Buy a couple of these. That should leave us money for at least one other uh, runner to go with us. All right, giant clean. Been making new friends out there? Yeah, that's me, the friendly type. Apparently so. You seem to have made a new friend in the Matrix, at least. He calls himself Baron Samidi. He's been asking about you on Shadowlands. He has a pretty distinctive icon, skull face with a top hat. I can tell what he wants, but the guy seems pretty serious. I wouldn't ignore this. If I were you, Deckers have a way of making people's lives miserable if they're so inclined. This Baron character, what do you know about him? I did some checking, but didn't get much because he's new on the scene. He's no Wilson, though. He's got a rep as Drek Hot Wire Boy, from what I hear. Never rides along with physical entry teams, though. Purely remote work. And Samidi, what's that? Baron Samidi's the name of a Loa, or a Haitian voodoo spirit. He sits at the crossroads of the living and the dead. Never heard of a spirit in the Matrix before. I've been around a long time, and I've seen a lot of avatars running around in the tricks. A lot of them. You ask me, it's just some guy trying to look scary to make a name for himself. Think of it as personal branding. Okay, so how long has he been looking for me? He's been spamming Shadowlands for the last hour, I'd say. He's new on the scene, but everyone's talking about him. Even the hottest deckers, like Dodger, are saying he's a force to be reckoned with. Guess he's not the patient type. Something I should know. Not now, but I may need your help. What's the Shadowlands? 
that's where the shadow community goes to talk about anything shadowy. Who's planning what projects, who's hiring, which corp is screwing which, anything that affects shadow runners and how they make money. It's where I'd go if I'd see if I could pick up any dirt about you. And you happen to know anything about giant magic unkillable bugs? Is that a joke? Nah, saw one underneath the Brotherhood an hour ago, bigger than a troll. What do you mean indestructible? As in I couldn't kill it. Whatever it is you've gotten into, Doc, you're in it deep. From what I hear, the Brotherhood has members in high places. Government, corpse, law enforcement. You be careful, chummer. Alrighty, well, let's talk to the Baron. Okay, let me know when you're ready, and I'll hitch a ride into the Matrix again. I've already set up a portal to Shadowlands. Ready, let's do this now. Send it. Bonsoir, mon ami. I am pleased that we can have a semi-private conversation. You must be careful with tour guides like your friend Johnny, though. You cannot trust everyone you meet in the Matrix. Everyone on Shadowlands knows you're looking for me. Why the spam? Samiti wishes to thank you for saving Maria Luis from the Universal Brotherhood. The girl is quite precious. If harm were to come to her, he does not know what he would do. He also offers you his help. The insects you encountered, they are something, no, something dark. To ignore them would be a folly. There is much at stake. Samiti knows you are after this woman, Jessica Watts, for your own reasons. He can help you get to this woman and defeat her bugs. And hypothetically, how would we do that? The job will not be simple, nor will it be straightforward, but Samiti can guarantee it will be dangerous. Telestrian Industries has been working for two years on a formula codenamed Aegis. They are working with another corporation, a foreign corporation, to refine it. This is their third attempt to get it right, and they believe, uh, believe they have. Manufacturing began several months ago. Unfortunately, their manufacturing plant in the Columbia Valley was recently blown up. It could have been corporate espionage, or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is that a large sample of the formula survived. Sounds like that something might be worth a lot of Nuyen. Oh, it is worth a great deal, Monami, a great deal. You see, it kills bugs. The big ones, like the ones you met at the Universal Brotherhood. If you want to go back there and bring the Watts woman to justice, you'll need Aegis. And as it happens, Samiti knows where the last sample of Aegis is being kept. Hence the job at hand. We're going to break into the Telestrian Industries primary operations office complex here in Seattle. Aegis will be somewhere within that building. We find the Aegis sample, we liberate it for ourselves. You want me to break into one of the most influential corps in the Pacific Northwest? You gotta be joking. Would that I were, but it is the only way, it is the only place to get what we need. But take heart, you will have Samiti with you, and he is clever in the ways of the Matrix. We cannot lose. So, will you do this thing? Will you any ally with Baron Samiti? I'm in, just has to pay for what she's done. Ah yes, revenge is very motivating. This is something Samiti knows. Yes, he does. Excellent. Funds are transferring to your account now to help you assemble your team. Telestrian keeps Project Aegis information on a private local network. It cannot be accessed from the outside through the Matrix. You must jack into it from within the office complex itself. Therefore, it is vital that you bring a Decker with you. What about you? You're not coming with? Samiti will be part of this evening's events, but he must remain remote. He will keep all of Seattle law enforcement and off-duty Telestrian security away while you locate the information from inside. What about the on-duty Telestrian security, the ones that will shoot me as soon as I step in the lobby? Ah, the Baron will handle that as well. The Telestrian guards will be rerouted through the building. With the right timing, no one will even know you're there. But of course, even Baron Samiti cannot anticipate all possibilities. So tonight, you must use your contacts, hire a team, and travel to the Telestrian office complex downtown. You will be contacted again when you have gained entrance. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, I think we're going to call it there for the day. Thank you to everybody who watched this, and remember, you're wonderful, you're amazing, and have a good one.